Hi, welcome to 3 Minute Maths. In this particular video we're going to be talking about arithmetic sequences and this particular one is called the common difference. Okay, and what it looks like is that you might get an exam question and it'll say something like 3, you've got 3, 7, 11, 15, 19 and you need to write an expression for the nth term nth term okay well the nth term all that means is is it could be any term so this in this particular sequence this is the first term which is number three the second term which is number seven the third term which is eleven and so on fourth and fifth and so on and i guess you could guess the next one which is going to be 19 plus 4 which is going to be 23 so the sixth term is going to be 23 because the difference between each of these is 4 okay so when we're writing a formula the important thing there's two important things that we need to remember the first thing is the common difference Okay, which in this particular case we know equals positive 4. And then the other thing we need to know is something called the zero term. Okay, well the zero term, this is the first, the zero term is the one here. Okay, and if I have a common difference of 4, the zero term on this particular sequence is going to be minus one. So zero term will be minus one. And then we put that together and we put it into a formula that says the nth term is going to be four, which is the common difference, multiplied by the number, the term that you're looking for, take away the zero term or minus the zero term. And that would be the formula that you'd want to know. So um, I could work out using that formula any one of the terms of this particular common difference sequence. So one of the things that might be asked in the exam, and it will say something like, is 318 in the sequence? Okay, is it in the sequence? No, it's not. Because... Two things actually. The first thing is, is 318 is an even number. If you notice, these are all odd numbers. So it's not going to be in the sequence. The other thing you can do is you can use this formula. Well, 318 take away 1 is 317. And 317 will have to be divisible by 4 in order to be a number in the sequence. So pretty much that's about it for common difference arithmetic sequences. I hope that's okay. This has been 3 Minute Maths. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.